Hi, I'm Marie Elizabeth Molly, and this is Relationship Alchemy. Today I'm going to talk about what to do when you're irritated. There are some days where we're just irritated, right? Everything just lands wrong, hits wrong, feels scratchy, and there's something you can do. There's a thing that happens in our bodies where a bunch of excess energy builds up in the system. In, the tr in one of my lineages, they called it tumescence. It's a word that used to be used in romance novels, like his tumest member was the way that they would talk about a hard-on. And in this case, uh, we're talking about too much energy built up in the system, meaning in your body, in your nervous system, and in my body, it occurs like a feeling like I'm a stuffed sausage, like I've got too much meat stuffed into a casing that's overly tight. And it's that tightness of the casing that causes me to feel irritated with everything and everyone and every circumstance around me because I'm just stuffed in a sausage casing that's too tight. So if you ever get this feeling in your body or you have these days where no matter what people do, it rubs you the wrong way, you are likely to mess. And that means that you likely have excess energy that has built up in your system that needs to be discharged. Very often when we get irritated, we start to uh, focus a lot on the content, what we're irritated about and who we're irritated with. And my suggestion is, to sure, get clear on what you're irritated about and who's doing the irritating. However, it's not as simple as that. It's because it's typically not their fault. Often is not their fault when you're too messed, okay? Because it's the too messence in your system that's causing you to respond to the world in this way. So the first thing to do when you're irritated is to ask yourself, okay, what am I irritated about? Like, what's got me going? And if you're just generalized cranky, that's a clue that there could be too much energy built up in your system. If there's a specific event that bothered you, then ask yourself, is there a desire that I have here and a request I could make for a change rather than complaining? And I talk about this in other podcast episodes, but com a complaint is a veiled desire. So when you have a complaint about something or someone, it's because there's a desire underneath that's not being met or that you haven't asked for, or maybe you have shame around, or maybe you're afraid to ask about. So your work there when you have a complaint is to look at what the desire is and formulate some kind of request and be courageous and make the request and see if things shift for you by approaching your complaints this way. However, that said, sometimes no matter how much you want to do that, you're just pissed, you're just irritated. And it's because there's too much energy built up in your system and that's when you need to focus on discharging it. So there's lots of great ways to discharge excess energy. You could exercise, like pumping iron is a great one for this, especially if you have a gym with a padded floor and you can drop, you know, like throw the weight down, you know, like indulge that part of you that just wants to break shit without actually breaking important shit. Um, another, you could pound a pillow or a mattress and scream if you have you know, space to do that in your life, that, you know, no one's going to call the cops on you or something. You can yell or scream and pound a pillow. Uh, dance to your favorite song. Put on a super fun, upbeat song that you love and rock out. If you're a runner, go running. Uh, if you're a masturbator, masturbate. <laughs> Make sure you masturbate to climax because that's a discharge of energy. Uh... I think you get the picture. I'm trying to think if there's any I'm forgetting in the moment. Have sex. If you have a partner, grab them and have sex. <laughs> that can be a great way to discharge the excess energy. Um, and so I want to land super clearly that having an excess of energy built up in your system and becoming irritable as a result 
is not a character flaw. It's just what happens. It's like when you cook using a pressure cooker or an instant pot like we have, the pressure builds up and it cooks the things, but eventually you have to vent the pressure. Otherwise, I mean, either the thing is going to explode if it's an old pressure cooker, it's going to explode, or if it's a newer pressure cooker, you can't open the lid and get your food. <laughs> so eventually you got to vent it to get the goods. And it's similar with our own nervous systems. The pressure can build up, especially if we are highly energetic people like me and lots of people I know. Pressure can build up in the system and it's going to turn to irritation. It's going to turn to frustration. It's going to turn to crying because you're so fucking mad and frustrated. That is very often your cue that too much energy is built up in your system and you need to discharge it. And again, it doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It happens to all of us. Your, your, what separates you from the masses is choosing to notice that that's what's happening, choosing to do something about it by discharging the energy instead of picking a fight, instead of blaming somebody else, instead of making everything else wrong in your life. You, from here on out, my invitation is that you get proactive with it and actually discharge that energy yourself and then look at the situation that was bugging you and see if it feels different. And if there's a request that needs to be made there for a behavior change or something different to be happening, make the request and see how that changes your relationships for the better. If you want to learn how to do this more effectively, you could always reach out and see about working together because this is a lot of what I help people with is how to navigate their own nervous system and their own energy system in proximity to other people with who have their own things going on and uh, really helping people relate more effectively and kindly to themselves as well as others. I hope you've enjoyed this conversation today. My name is Marie Elizabeth Bali, and you can find my assessment, my relationship assessment down below in the show notes. It's a great quick way to see what's working well in your relationships and what could use your intention, attention to improve. There's one for single folks and one for partnered folks. So go ahead and take that assessment. And until next time, remember that a great relationship starts with you.